Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner Update News. I'm UK and I keep you updated with the latest goings on with SnowRunner. Yesterday we had a update and that consisted of, it looks like we've just got the Wolf Pack, which is three trucks in that. It is paid content. It's $4.99 in English pounds and a few more on the dollars and what have you. And it doesn't look like there's anything else with that update. Now the update on PC... We're on 18.0 and the PTS, the public test server, which has got phase 8 on, that's on 17.3. So that one is, the, is behind, which normally the live game is the, always the one lagging behind. Now for this latest update, there was no patch notes, so we don't know if what was fixed or what was added or anything. All we know is we got the wolf pack, go and pay for that and jobs are good. So I think it's a bit out of order really. There's, um, I'm still getting messages, quite a lot of people who are still having issues. If you are having issues, drop it in the comments and we'll have to go through them and see. Because I know some people are still having issues and resetting your game, taking all your mods off and starting again can sometimes sort that out but a lot of times um with the save issue like i haven't continued my save over yet because i knew we were all having problems and haven't bothered trying yet so if you've had successful save which i know a lot of people have done but there's still a lot of people who haven't done so let me know in the comments if you're still having issues with it anyway we have news on the next paid dlc which is currently in the game which is the resvani pack no, it's not a pack. It's the Resvani Hercules 6x6. It's one truck in there at the moment. And that could be the one what's going to be in the Dakar game. As the devs did mention that one of the vehicles... Well, they said something from SnowRunner was going to be in Dakar. And it could even be that vehicle. Now, I managed to get have a look at it in the SnowRunner editor yesterday. And it does look a nice bit of kit. It really does. So hopefully I can get that into the game over the weekend and we can have a, a quick look at that. Now, we don't know if the Rizvani Hercules 6x6 is paid content, but it probably is as it's a branded vehicle. I'll leave it a link for their website. They've got some pretty nice vehicles, actually. They really are. I know a lot of you will be like, oh, no, more skates, but I'm not sure when this is going to come. Now, it's like I said, it's that one is in the live game at the moment so potentially that could be dropped at any point now next item to talk about is phase eight or season eight which is currently on the public test server if you have the game on epic games then you can go in and play it on there now i have still only managed to do a few hours we're going to catch up over this weekend been having pc issues and hopefully well it seems to be running a lot better now so i'm going to get on that now the maps they are absolutely amazing they really are there's over 110 tasks for for it as well which i was quite shocked on that task and contract and it's unbelievable they've really outdone themselves on this new map they really have so i'll be doing some more of that over the weekend and keep you updated with what's going on with it now that for release is going to be it's not going to we're not going to know nothing for a while i don't think i'd be surprised to see it this month but nice if it did come out but i think it probably will be next month but we're still waiting on, there's going to be an update on the public test server on, we, it did say today or Monday or the start of next week anyway. So as soon as that happens, we'll keep you updated on what changes are happening. And hopefully, well, there's not many bug reports, but we can't really go off that at the moment because the last phase seven didn't have many bug reports and it was like, oh, it was looking good. And then it got released and it was the biggest pile of shite ever. And a lot of people are still having problems with it. But hopefully we won't have those issues when phase eight or season eight comes, but time will tell. Right, let's go over and have a look at the wolf pack and show you what that's all about. So here we have the new Western Star trucks. So we have the, which is the Wolf Pack, the Western Star 57X. Then we have the 47X NF1424. And then we have the Big Brother, the 47X NF1430. So let's go on to the 57X first of all and show you what options are available for it. So we've got four different engine options on there. And it seems to have a little bit, power there it's not op whatsoever but it's a nice balanced truck and then off-road gearbox on there the only downside is we've got no diff lock you've got race suspension you can only use a race suspension on the proving grounds at the moment as that will be an upgrade eight on the maps sometime and then tire wise 
we've just got all your normal standards it would have been nice if they put a new set of tires in for these trucks but no same old shite copy paste copy paste and then we go on to winch same thing again spare tire it's got a spare rack on the back there then snorkel it's got a couple of different snorkel options i do like those they're pretty high up those ones and they do fit quite nice and you've got the short ones short rain cap just there and then move down this is the important one frame add-ons so we've got log carrier and this is a bit of a cop out i think it's to do with the uh, the flares on the side of the back of the cab there I, obviously you can't get the crane in because that's just annoying to have a crane like that and you can't have saddle high saddle low with the crane but never mind so that's all it's got for that one and then we go over to rear bumpers it's got various well it says rear bumpers but it's these side skirts and why wouldn't it let me change them oh, i think oh, i've got to put the stock ones on and you can see we get the bigger ones there just makes it a bit beefier and then rooftop we've got the roof fog lights and that was a nice little add on that one. Oh, go back roof out roof fog lights angled super angled supervisor <laughs> angled sun visor straight cap sun visor and then we have the stock one there as well front bumpers we've got a few front bumpers at least they're not the same old ones we've been getting the fog lighter the handlebars and stock one and then miscellaneous we've got some extra horns if you want those going on to exhaust got a, quite a few different exhausts now this one it does annoy me a little bit with the excessive smoke it would see we've got all these different exhausts but it'd be nice if we had ones what went completely on the sides turned to the sides that one's not too bad i suppose we'll have that one the the other one i was using uh which one that one there that is quite excessive for the smoke and then rims wise you just got all your normal stuff what we've seen a million times before now the skin this skin's pretty nice looking a lot of detail on that and then we go through we've got all the all normal colors which we get on all the other vehicles and what have you and then there's a few different changes down the bottom just like that and then all your bobleds and all of that's there for you to go so on the outside having a look at it it's a nice looking truck but like i said we've got no all-wheel drive for this one so it i would have thought it would be able to be tweaked as the other western star was able to tweak so we should be able to put all-wheel drive on this and diff lock as well where it currently doesn't have diff lock and doesn't look like that's coming which um yeah an off-road game for a well it is a highway truck but it is classed as a heavy on this game so but it's a nice looking truck go inside because i always forget to go inside and you can see it'd be nice if that screen was working there's something on there but it does look pretty nice inside a lot of detail in here so that is the western star 47x so let's go and have a look at the other two so then we have the western star 47x now this is the smaller version and same with all the engines you've got four different engines i won't go through all the normal stuff what we've seen we just cycle through oh it has got active i didn't realize it uh, that's cool i like that and tires wise they were all the same yes of course they bloody were and same with the winches diff lock we can have diff lock on the 47x so that's cool but still no all wheel drive for it a couple of different snorkels just like that and then frame add-ons so we've got a few more on here where we've got these sideboards and that was a nice rack actually i like that trunk repair supplies not a huge amount of repairs on there but there you go saddle low ho saddle low saddle high sideboard bed and then the flatbed and then the log carrier on that one as well and then we go on to front side and it's got the angle visor chrome visor oh come on get out of there rooftop and then that's just got your normal nothing new in here apart from these light bars on there and then we go into front bumpers oh we didn't see that one with a full cage on there as it looks pretty cool and then exhaust we've got three different exhaust options on this one and then rims just all your normal rims and then obviously your bobbleheads go on to your bobbleheads and what have you and the skin on that one We've got wolves on it but very detailed looks pretty nice we'll have that one on 
and then yeah like i said all your bobbleheads oh let's go back to the paint because i didn't actually check to see yeah they've done the striped options down here as well just like that if you want that it's there so let's get it outside and have a look at it So I haven't really tested these out yet as you know as soon as I uh I might get on a, we're gonna do a stream this evening, it won't be till sort of about eight, nine o'clock and might get these out and have a look at them. Or might do that tomorrow, we shall see. But it is a nice looking truck. And it's at least this pack is it's got a truck for everything you need really. Well, if it had all wheel drive it would, but there you go. But never mind. Go inside this one. And what we got? We've got all the clocks. Oh, it's quite a bit more detail in here. That looks all oh, pretty nice inside, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Nice job. So moving on to the last one. So at least you do get a few trucks. This is the first pack. Well, actually, it is a pack of trucks. Where half the time it was, they say it was a pack, and it wasn't. Customize right so we have the bigger brother for the 49 uh, the 47x the nf1430 and this has all got same old everything's exactly the same same old tires less tires come to think of it we haven't got so many tires on this one but we have got decent tires on there anyway uh same on the windshields snorkels a couple of different options for that Frame add-on, so this is the bad boy, what more or less does, sort of everything. Where it's got all your saddle, high, low, towing platform, fuel tank, sideboard, and then vibrator module, maintenance frame add-on, short login, medium login, van body add-on, and then your flatbed, your log crane, just like that. So what other options it's got? It's just got angle visor and some visor, and then on the rooftop, that's the same, same old, same old, really, isn't it? And that, oh, they've got that option on there as well, that barrier. And winch pipe, put that one on. And exhaust, a couple of different exhaust options. Just like that. And then we haven't got a skin for this one, just all your colours. And then we've got the striped version down on the bottom, down there, just like that. So let's get it outside and let's change the day, time of day. Oh, that's a bit better. It's all bloody raining. Right, so on this one you can see we have the extra wheels which can be lowered down. Those aren't powered. They're just, yeah, they're not powered. Of course they're not. Oh, so we go to change suspension mode and pop that down like that and like i said i had a little go with it last night but i didn't do any hauling or anything with it so we'll get on that over the weekend and then we'll do a little video on is it worth the money or not really because um you know i can't really tell yet it's, that's nice they got that winch cable moving on there as well when i seen it in the shop i thought is that going to be moving it wants to be and they got a couple of shackles there moving as well that is nice go inside this bad boy and yeah Looks pretty nice in here. Everything's here. Oh, right at the window. But yeah, nice trucks. We will see how they go. And like I said, these should be tweaked at some point anyhow. So that's it for the Wolf Pack. So what do you think about that? Are you going to be spending your hard-earned money on it or are you going to be waiting to see if it's worth it and it'll be tweet? Let us know in the comments. Right then, so 88 Modding has been very quiet over the, this year really and we're starting to ramp things back up again. Crazy's got quite a few mods going and I've been looking at mine I'm going to definitely get something I really am. I've uh, been doing a few bits of tweaking over the last few days and it's got me back into it. And I actually opened Blender for the first time in about six, seven weeks. So we're going to be cracking on with that. Iceberg has got a new mod coming as well where he's been busy with work, but he started to do get back into modding over this week. So I'll keep you posted on that. Probably do a video on that over the weekend. I'm just waiting for him to give us a nod 
and then uh, I'll show you what what's coming and we'll also go through what crazy's got coming as well because he's done quite a few mods that really has so want to say a big thank you for anyone who made it this far because we're coming up to 20,000 subscribers I never thought I'd even get a couple of thousand let alone 20,000 and with the start of 20,000 we're going to start doing some giveaways so keep your eyes posted for that I'll be coming as soon as we hit that 20,000 now I'm going to be streaming over the weekend on PTS and be doing quite a few different videos and what have you so thanks for watching till next time goodbye